We're going to be doing a, a series of tips and tutorials on Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 2. Uh, I'm not going to be going into intricate detail of each of the tools and each of the particular modules and settings. Rather, I'm going to take more of a end-user everyday approach, uh, looking at things from the workflow, from importing your images, uh, working with your images, manipulating them slightly, and then exporting them at the other end. And this will take up a series of videos. Um, the reason for doing it this way is there's more than enough excellent books and you know training series out there on every detail and facet of Lightroom, but that's not really what the uh, this is about. This is about getting in there and getting out again. Um, so what I'd like to do this week is just run through a, a few shortcut keys that you know it's not exactly the most exciting way to start with Lightroom. But believe me, these very simple shortcut keys will have you flying around this application in no time. Um, in particular, there's five shortcuts that I'm going to cover here that allow for the displaying and hiding of the various panels and the tools. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, the beauty of Lightroom is being able to work with your images and see your images. So, you know, there are times, many times, where you're going to want to see the full image and just make the interface go away and that's what these shortcuts are all about so we're gonna go through them here um, we have F5 and I'm just gonna click the key and you'll see what happens and I'll explain F5 shows and hides this top panel here which has the module selector library develop slideshow print and web plus the little identity panel so F5 can just show and show and hide that panel there um, F6 will display and hide the panel at the bottom, which is where you'll see your thumbnail is your film strip here. Uh, F7 will display and hide the left hand panel, which is where you do a lot of the file and the navigation and, and that kind of handling. And then F8 hides the right hand side, which is where you have all of the, you know, the settings, the, the tweaking, if you like, the tools to manipulate the image, the color and density and all those kind of things, plus the histogram. And then one more is this little panel across here that you can see has these tools, which is the toolbar, and T just shows and hides the toolbar. Um, so you can see that if you do a combination of these, you can very quickly get to a full screen. If I go through and do F5, F6, F7, F8, and T, you can see, there you go. We have a full screen display of the library. There's no pictures in here right now, you know, and then I can just go through again and bring them back. Um, a lot of the time, I only display the particular modules, the particular panels that I need to see to work with at that time. You know, for example, if you're going through and rating your images, let's say, and we'll, we'll get into that in another video, um, I can go through and hide everything except for the the tool panel at the bottom or maybe you know I want to go through and see the film strip at the bottom and just get a nice big view of the image so that's how we do that now moving on uh, we're going to look at the shortcut keys for moving between the modules which again I'll explain them what each of the modules are in a future video uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the F5 key to bring back this top section the panel here with the identity panel and these modules so in Lightroom we have five modules, the library, develop, slideshow, print, and web. And the quick and easy way to navigate between these is on the Mac you can do option plus command plus one for the library or option command plus two for the develop module. You have option command three for the slideshow module. You have option command four for the print module and finally option command 5 for the web module now if you're on a PC think of that as being the alt control and then 1 2 3 or 5 um, so anytime you hear me say option command think alt control on the PC so that's how we navigate each of the modules and so you can just jump back here to the library you can just go option command 1 and there you go we're back where we started so that covers the basic keyboard shortcuts for moving around inside Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 2 including hiding and showing the various panels and moving between the various modules within the program 
I, I know it's not particularly exciting, but believe me, if you it's just like Photoshop and many of these other tools. If you learn a lot of these keyboard shortcuts early on and they become second nature to you, you'll notice that you know you, you get in there and you get to play with your images more than you do going around clicking the menus. It is well worth doing. Um, next time around we are going to start importing images and covering the options that we have available to us there. Uh, thank you very much.